Greetings, Fungibles. Welcome back to Disenthrall. I will be Patrick Smith. This is going to be a super quick technology tutorial on NFTs, which stand for non-fungible tokens. These are, you can think of them as like a cryptocurrency, but more of a collectible where there's only one of each thing and you can buy and sell and trade and collect them, so to speak. Uh, we're not going to be going into any of the complexity. We're not going to be talking about anything beyond how to set yourself up to receive one from someone. And, you know, maybe you can, I'll, I'll introduce you to a marketplace where you can purchase them if you want, but I'm not going to get into how you can, you know, do anything like get, you know, turn your USD into crypto to then buy them. Not going to do any of that. This video is primarily for people that are, that are wanting to receive NFTs from other people or buy them. Uh, for example, Voluntary Virtue, our nonprofit, recently for its in-person event here in Dallas where we fed the homeless, uh, some of the people in attendance were offered the ability, as somebody that actually showed up to help do the work of the event, uh, a reward for their donation in the form of an NFT to commemorate their attending and helping. Uh, and so I'm, I'm getting a lot of people asking me, okay, well, what do I need to receive this NFT reward? So rather than me... I went out and I looked and I tried to find a bunch of videos to send them. All the videos I found were terrible, so I figured I'm going to do it myself. So that's what we're going to do here today. Without further ado, what you need first is a browser. I suggest Brave uh, for many reasons that I won't get into today. The first thing we're going to do is install a browser extension. Call. So we're going to, we're going to open up our browser extensions store, which in this case for Brave, you can use the Chrome Web Store. And we're going to search for Meta Mask. One word, Meta Mask. You're going to find the Meta Mask extension. You're going to add it to your browser. We're going to go quick here. You'll see a little fox icon pop up in the top right when it's installed. Boom, Meta Mask has been installed to Brave. Welcome to Meta Mask. We're going to go through, get started. We're going to create a wallet. We're going to agree. We're going to create a password. You obviously need to remember your own passwords and use a much longer password, and I suggest using a password manager. You can check our password management, password hygiene video series out for that. We're not going to get into it today. First thing it asks you for is a password. Then, after that, it's going to let you watch a video telling you about how important it is to secure your wallet that you're creating inside this browser extension. Then it's going to ask you to back up your secret phrase. This is important because if you don't, and you uninstall your browser or uh, switch browsers or your computer crashes and you you know install a new browser on a new computer and you want your wallet back without this secret words without these secret words you will lose access to anything in your wallet any money any nfts anything stored in the wallet so you click here you grab these words you copy you paste them somewhere probably in your password manager. Go watch that video series if you want to learn how to do that, but you want to store these words somewhere. Next, it, to make sure that you've written them down somewhere because it's that important, it wants you to enter the words that it just gave you. Wall, swear, Olympic, swear, Olympic, spread, pool, glimpse, cage, all rug. It wants you to enter the words again just to prove that you've done it. So now we have installed the MetaMask browser extension. We can close this tab completely. We can close all of our tabs because now it's hiding up here in this little extensions button. We can see the MetaMask extension running right here. I'm going to click this little pin button right next to it to pop it out so it's always visible there. And when I click on it, I can see my MetaMask wallet. The first step is complete. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a network to this wallet, a network that's much cheaper to use than the default one, which is Ethereum. So by default, you get an Ethereum wallet. So if you're interested in that whole cryptocurrency thing, you're already set up to use anything Ethereum. We're not going to get into what the difference is in all these networks are or anything really about the technology. We're just going to switch to a different blockchain, and that's as detailed as I'm going to get with it to do that. We have to add the network to our um, MetaMask browser extension. To do that, we're going to click up here at the top on Ethereum mainnet. This lists all the networks that this extension can talk to, this wallet can talk to. We're gonna go all the way to the bottom and we're gonna pick custom RPC. 
So now we're going to enter in the details of the network we're going to connect to. The network we're going to connect to is the Polygon network. What are the details we need for that? Well, we can search for them easily. So we're going to type in MetaMask, uh, browser search, uh, MetaMask um, Polygon uh, Config. MetaMask Polygon Config. And I bet you the first result you're going to get is this one. And I'm not giving you a link to this because all the videos I watched had links and they were all out of date and didn't work anymore. So right here, this is the information that we need to enter into our MetaMask. So we're going to open this up once again, click here, custom RPC. Now we're just going to give it a name, in this case, Matic Mainnet. Uh, Matic is another word for Polygon. They changed their name recently, so you can call it Polygon or Matic, whatever you want, doesn't matter, it's the same thing. Uh, Matic is the token, Polygon is the, is the network. So if you, uh, if you want to think about it like that, you can. Uh, it's gonna make me start over every time. Okay, so I copied the hardest part, right? I copied this RPC mainnet.magic Matic visual blah 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 This right here, so we're gonna start over <laughs> one more time network custom RPC. I'm gonna name mine polygon Mainnet I'm gonna paste in the URL the chain ID is 137 the currency symbol is Matic the block Explorer URL is HTTPS colon slash slash polygonscan.com save now you can see we've added Polygon Mainnet to our wallet. So now when we back out of here and we see up here at the top Polygon Mainnet, we are now on the Polygon network. So we can switch back to Ethereum if we have Ethereum we want to deal with and when we're ready to use Polygon, we can click over here to Polygon. Now, the next step is to go to the website where the NFTs can be viewed and traded. So let me be clear, you're done as far as the ability to receive an NFT from somebody. It's really simple. If somebody wants to send you an NFT, now you have your wallet inside MetaMask right here. MetaMask right here. You have your account up here and you have a, uh, your account sort of address right here. And to use it, you can just click it and it copies it to your clipboard. Here's my little notepad. We can paste it in. This is the wallet address that I just copied from here by clicking here. And now it's in my clipboard and I can just control V, paste it wherever I want to remember it. So if my friend wants to send me an NFT, that's how I copy my address and paste it anywhere I want to send it to him. So now my friend can send me an NFT. And if he sends me an NFT right now, I will have the NFT. It will be in my wallet attached to my address and I will not be able to see it in MetaMask because MetaMask doesn't show you NFTs. It just shows you currency. So in this case, it shows you the Matic currency on the Polygon chain. You notice if we switch over to Ethereum, it now shows us ETH because we're on the Ethereum mainnet. But when we go back to Polygon, it shows us our Matic currency. But NFTs aren't a currency. They're a different type of thing. So to work with the NFTs in our wallet, we're going to use a website called OpenSea. I think I spelled that right. We're going to try it again. Open it's not .com. What is it? OpenSea.io. OpenSea.io. This is a website that will link and talk to your wallet up in MetaMask and let you not only see what you have attached to your wallet, but it'll let you see what everybody else has in their wallets. And you can trade them and sell them and do all kinds of interesting things that way. So the first thing we're going to do is in the top right of the website, we're going to click the little wallet icon. It wants to connect to your wallet and we're using MetaMask. So we're gonna click MetaMask. MetaMask is gonna pop up and say, hey, are you sure you wanna let this website you know, look inside your wallet? Uh, yes, we do. So we're gonna click next and we're gonna click connect. Done. Now the website can see we have no USD, no balance or whatever, that's fine. And now we're ready. We already have a profile on this website. We can change our username and edit and profile photos and you know make it a whole profile if we want. Don't have to, doesn't matter. But we can already go to my collections and we can see uh, we can see on the profile page, oops, we can see on our my profile page, this right here where it says no items to display, this is where any NFTs that we own would show up if somebody had sent one to this new wallet. So. 
to give you an example of what it will look like, I'm going to switch browser windows now. So this is my MetaMask uh, on, my, on my main browser profile. And we are going to look at my profile. Oh, it looks like MetaMask wants me to sign in because I haven't used it in a while. This is normal. So if you click on MetaMask and it wants your password, you got to do the password thing. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so now that I've unlocked my MetaMask, you can see that, you know, I have, uh, I have an address and I have some Matic in here that I sent, but we're not, again, we're not going to worry about the currency today. We're only talking about NFTs. So now when I'm on OpenSea and I click my profile, I can see, hey, this is my profile. I've given myself a name. And if I wanted, I could do profile photos and cover photos and all that stuff. And you can see that I have some NFTs in my wallet that the website can see because we have linked OpenSea to our MetaMask wallet browser extension. And, you know, for example, here's the MooFest 2021 TCS Activist NFT that I got for being at MooFest. And you can see it's a pretty cool little animated video. Um, there's three owners, so three people have, have gotten them so far. It has a description about the event. It has the event name. It has the date of the, that the event happened. Uh, it's got some interesting information. Anyway, so now you have access to your NFTs. And if I wanted, I could send them to somebody. So for example, I could, uh, where's the, I could sell it on here if I wanted and I could transfer it. I could gift it to somebody on here with this button right here. So I have one of these and I could click this button and I could send it to somebody. That ladies and gentlemen is what you need to do to receive NFTs on the Polygon network using MetaMask and then how to view the NFTs that you have using the OpenSea.io website. All right, this concludes the tutorial. You know everything. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, if you appreciate it, hit the thumbs up. Consider supporting the channel at disenthrall.me/support.